Hello everyone, it's Kei. How's it going today? So this is a recorded video on the 14th of December 2020. So this is a Monday. So every Monday I run the Frexis Afford to present my strategy. And today's topic is about the trend capture by my strategy called KTS. K stream strategy. So if you wonder what I talk about on everyday lives and videos, uh, if you come to my website and scroll down a little bit, there is a uh, there is a program guide, uh, like a TV program guide. We have a YouTube case YouTube program guide here, and today is the 14th of um, of uh, December. So I talk about the KTS trend strategy by running the Flex Tester Four. And Flex Tester 4 is actually my favorite tool, so it saves a lot of time. So if you're interested, please click on the link below the description and click on the referral, referral link so that uh, you get some discount. So yeah, let's talk about the strategy, trending strategy. So before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information is basically based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do within risk. So let's get started. So here is the tester and this is the daily chart. Yeah, daily chart. And today I will pick the daily chart and the one hour chart and present how I capture the trends and how I possibly capture the fake breakout also. So here is the daily chart. We see the Kumo is flat, Kijun Sen flat. So basically this is flat range in market. There is no trend in the market by based on my strategy. But Chikou span above the candles, so I expect still the market goes up continuously. So let's move on to, um, yeah, let's um, just um, move the candles one by one until we see Kumo and Kijun Sen both go up into the up direction. So, okay, here we see Kumo up and Kijun Sen up. So this is when I look at the one hour time frame and see if one hour time frame is also uptrending or not. And here is one hour chart and now one hour chart is flat Kijun Sen flat Kumo here as you can see. So in this case, although we see daily chart is uptrending because one hour chart is flat Kijun Sen and flat Kumo, the market might retrace backwards to the Kijun Sen or the Kumo in this one hour chart. But overall, this is uptrending because we confirm uptrending on a daily chart. So, in this case, I would wait until the Kumo up and Kijun Sen up to look for buy chance. So, let's just wait until it happens on this one hour chart. I will just forward the candles. So, now I see Kijun Sen up, but Kumo still flat. So I won't take, I will look for buy chance yet. Okay, now we see uh, the price is now below the Kijun Sen. So this is where I stop looking for buy. So I will just wait until the market uh, breaks the Kijun Sen upwards on one hour chart. So let's see if it happens. <clears throat> okay, now the market is into the Kumo. So yeah, uh, we better do nothing in this kind of situation. Yeah, market is still consolidating and just going up and down. Gradually moving down now. Okay, it broke down. Oh, and now there's a spike, huge spike upwards. So, uh, in, this con in this case, I come back to the daily chart and if the daily chart is already flat or not. So, let's see. Yeah, the daily chart is flat now. Flat Kumo, flat Kijun Sen. So I wait until the Kumo up and Kijun Sen up again in daily chart. So yeah, in this today's example, I take the daily chart, but in reality, I pick either daily or four hour time frame to capture the major trend direction. In this example, I just pick daily chart. So Let's just wait until the daily goes up. So here on the next candlestick, I see the daily chart Kumo up and Kijun Sen up. And also there is a outside bar, outside breakout, which is quite significant to look for buy. 
but before looking for buy chance, I I want to confirm this uptrend also in one hour time frame. So as for the mid time frame, I take one hour thirty uh, in reality. But in today's example, I just picking up the one hour chart to explain clearly. So you see, one hour chart is flat. One hour chart Kumo flat, and Kijun Sen is flat too. So in this case, the market might retrace backwards to the Kijun Sen. So I won't look for buy chance yet. So let's move on the candles a bit more. Okay, now I see the breakout of the recent high, and I can see the Kumo up and the Kijun Sen up here. So this is exactly where I start to look for the buy chance in lower time frames, which are 5 or 15 minute time frame. But I hope you get the idea of uh, how I avoid these fake breakouts. So previously, the daily chart was up when the Kijun Sen was flat in one hour chart. And this is where I stopped looking for buy chance because the potentially the market retraces backwards still in one hour chart. But when you see both the daily chart and one goes up towards, it, towards this direction, uh, this is where the market can potentially go up on this bullish in the wave like this way. And that's why I confirm the trend uh, also in the mid time frames, one hour chart or the 30 minute chart. So I hope you get the essence of how I capture these uh, trending markets and confirm it in the mid time frames for today's video. So um, yeah, um, I hope you liked today's video session and tomorrow what I will be talking about is going to be a uh, essence of the Kumo. So I will talk about the thickness of the Kumo, the angle of the Kumo, and also the Kumo twist. Because tomorrow, on every Tuesdays, um, I record another video about Ichimoku strategy. So I hope to see you on tomorrow's video. And until I see you next time, please um, stay healthy. Oh, actually, just brief announcement is that this week, uh, you know, uh, we have lots of news. Fundamentally, we have uh, FOMC and also a lot of big news in Pound, and JPY, and Euro. So just be careful for the volatility this week. This week. Uh, today on Monday, we have no news, but uh, Tuesday onwards, we have lots of news, especially Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, it's gonna be a big event, so we have to be careful. So just for information. So I hope you enjoy this video, and until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane, thank you everyone.